Yo everybody, this is Rock of the Great, aka the Toy Bookie, and I've been doing a lot of toy reviews, and I said, bro, this is also a tutorial channel, so I am coming to you with a new tutorial. I've been wanting to try this out myself, so I'm actually pretty excited about this also. What we're going to be doing in this video is teaching you how to um, uh, make, look, one of the ways that you could make paint chips on an item to make it look like um, paint is chipping off the item. But you know, get that like cool, um, you know, cyberpunk, Star Wars-ish, like alien type uh, worn mech look. You know what I mean? And I've, oh, back to the video. Um, it should be fairly easy. I didn't try this out beforehand. And um, we're both gonna be learning uh, together. So I'm gonna put this cap on. Um, this is one of those Star Wars crates from, uh, they were like a blind box. They're actually really cool with 112 scale, like black series figure arts. So, uh, and it's already gray, but what you're going to want to do is spray paint the, the item that you want, the color you want to be underneath the chip. So I am, I would have spray painted this gray or silver, uh, if I wanted to, but it already is gray, so I'm gonna just leave it gray for the tutorial, but spray paint it all the coat you want underneath the chip. So whatever you want to be exposed when you have the chips on your item, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do first, and you're gonna to wanna to let that dry like a full day, like fully dry. And then, I know <laughs> petroleum jelly, you're like, what, what's going on here? Okay, so you're gonna put the petroleum jelly on just the areas that you want to have that exposed look. So anything that might have wear or chips, you're gonna to wanna to put some petroleum jelly on there. All right, so I, I, I think the chunks, you're gonna to wanna to do like kinda of chunky. So we're gonna put it on the corners. All the corners would have chips, you know. Okay, this is pretty fun, this is exciting. And a good thing about this is, um, your item's going to be uh, very well moisturized, so, you know, if you're worried about the age of your item, you're going to be pretty okay, because he's going to be looking a lot younger when he's moisturizing with this petroleum jelly, you know what I'm saying? Just put the dabs places. I'm going to just try, like, a dab right here. Maybe he got a dent. All right, this is going to be fun. This is going to be an interesting thing to see how this actually turns out. There are other things that people use. Uh, some people use hairspray, some people use... Um, I believe they have like a hobby thing that's actually just made for this, but petroleum jelly is $2 at uh, Target. So I thought we were in Target. I said, let me try that. Um, I haven't seen actually anyone do this technique on something this small. They all seem to be like life-size props. So this will be interesting to see how this does turn out. This will be interesting, so. Once you got all the uh, petroleum jelly on your item in the areas you want, you're gonna wanna get some spray paint, and then you're just gonna wanna lightly coat it. Just lightly dust it and coat it until you get the, the desired paint on the item. And then you're going to want to not touch it. Let it fully, fully dry. Then we'll come back. But um, my tip is Rust-Oleum 2X is my favorite spray paint for every project. I've been using this for every project. It is the best paint that I've tried. And I've tried a few. So definitely get your Rust-Oleum. And I want to paint this up, man. We'll be back. Okay, so we are back, and the lighting is weird in here for some reason, but hopefully this comes out. Okay, and again, I just wanted to say, I've only seen this done on big props, so I'm not even sure if it'll work in this scale, but you know what, that's what this channel is about. This channel is, it a, is it's about trying things and, explo, explo, and, and learning how to speak proper English. Dang. Okay, sorry guys, okay. So what you're going to want to do is get just like a towel, not a towel, damn. Yo, hello. Hold on. Hey, guys. I just came back from Mars, and I don't know anything about, okay. You're going to want to take your napkin, and let's take this Vaseline away. So I just saw them, like, pull it away, like, okay. 
Yeah, there you go. Look. Ooh, ooh, that's it. That's it right there. Hold on. See the top part? Yo, okay, hold on. You see that? Okay, it's working. Oh, that's, see guys, that's why, don't ever not try stuff. You know what I mean? When you're in college and your friend says, hey, I'm totally cutting that out. <laughs> oh boy, I am loving this. Hun, look how cool that looks. And now if there was a, and once, well, when this is done, you're going to want to dirty it up and the, the black wash will get into all the pieces, but boy, oh, that is so cool. That, oh man. I love it. Okay, so let's, let's take everything off. All right, well, I'm going to take everything off, off camera. I, I think I showed enough. And we're going to come back and just see a close-up of just how cool this thing looks. All right, so here we are. It's all finished. And, of course, the lighting is not working. Hold on. Is that lighting better? Okay. There we are. Look at that. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And again, like I said, it works really well for bigger projects, but I thought, let's try it with, uh, you know, the smaller. Okay, I'm very happy with how it came out. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rock with the Great, AKA the Toy Bookie. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. It helps promote my videos to other people because YouTube doesn't want to. And if you like what you see, subscribe because I do a lot of other content like this. I am a diorama maker and an artist. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at Rock with the Great. I am a graphic designer. I've done work with bands from Taken Back Sunday all the way to Mod Sun. I do other graphic design work. I've done some comic book stuff, comic work stuff. And if you like toys and you're into that type of stuff, I have a whole nother thing called The Toy Bookie on Instagram. And I do toy photography, I do toy reviews, I do toy dioramas. Very cool stuff on there. Definitely check those two things out. And see you later, guys. Peace.